Welcome back to Land the House. So this past weekend, I met up with Josh from the Stony Ridge Farm and uh, met with Google as well. But I can't release any of that footage until April, so you'll have to wait a couple of months for that. Nothing too fancy, just got to see the film crew walk around with him and, and film lots of scenes. But uh, it is Tuesday morning, which means it's raining. It's rained for six or seven weeks straight on Tuesdays. Um, so, once again, no outside projects. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking, there's a couple things that would be fun to build. One would be a uh, stand for the drill press, or maybe even a table for the router. That would be fun. Uh, I was thinking it'd be cool to have some kind of insert that I could put onto my workbench for that router table. I don't know, like some fold up legs and just have it plop in there, like slide in, um, have the, the router in here. I don't know, I'll have to do more research on that one before I actually film anything. So I think today a better option would be a drill press stand. And I was thinking maybe I could have it about that height, um, but then put it like, I don't know, over in here maybe for storage, back corner, I don't know. I'll have to brainstorm on that one for a minute before we get started. Uh, also, ram pump sales are going well, and uh, I'm going to see if Ashley will help me build some of them. So I actually need to do some cleanup over here for the first time in <laughs> years. So um, that's kind of one of the reasons I made this little pullout last week. Uh, could store some stuff in there. And uh, I just need to find a place for everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Stick around to the end of the video to hear me talk about my water tower system just a little bit. I've had this idea for some time that I wanted to do a shop tour. Uh, the shop is now three and a half years old and I still haven't done that. And uh, it's just too dirty for my liking. So today I am, I think, just going to clean. Just a lot of cleaning. So the video might be a little less exciting than if we could go out and do something. But... Uh, so like for instance, I've got buckets like this full of hardware, like uh, just nuts and bolts and stuff. But also, let me show you my metalworking bin under here that also needs to be cleaned out. Oh yeah, I also found some stuff to put in my drawer here. Uh, just some drill bits and towels and such. Still working on what I want in that. But uh, yeah, so I just kind of use this little tote down here as a... Uh, a junk storage place. This was actually in my car when I first bought the property six years ago. It was my uh, go-to for all the stuff I was doing out here. So anyway, let's bring this up here and see if we can go through some of it. Let's see what's in here. Some wheels. I had this idea that I could uh, put my sh uh, workbench here on these wheels and have them locked down, but I uh, just never got around to that. Because I think it would be nice to uh, pop this bench up and wheel it off into a corner if I was working on some big project. But yeah, so inside of this thing, it's just kind of a, a mess. Um, paintbrush, we can move that out of here. Need to find a place to put sandpaper, uh, zip ties, some more roofing screws, a hatchet. <laughs> so anyway, you can see this is kind of just a junk drawer in a way. So I'm just going to go through here and clean things up. I probably still keep this as my metal working stuff, but just uh, cleaned it out some because there's no need for lighters to be in the same place as H1 clips. So anyway, I'm gonna get to this work here. So I was trying to organize this stuff over here, like uh, these big bolts and stuff. And as I was getting new parts, I was like, okay, which drawer was it, which drawer was it? So I was pulling them out over and over again. And I remembered my wife has this label maker. So uh, like this one, uh, nuts, large nuts. So let's go ahead and print out a label that says large nuts.
There we go, large nuts. Cut that. And so now I can actually put the sticker here on the top so I know what it is when I walk up to get it here. And this should save me lots of time now picking all this stuff up and lots of time later whenever I am trying to find something. There we go. And now I know exactly where my large nuts are. Okay, I've actually been working for several hours here in the shop. Uh, I just realized it wasn't really something I wanted to show you, uh, but I narrowed this down to basically metalworking stuff and wheels. Uh, so we can put the top back on that for now and call it good. Uh, it's going to be nice to have that arranged. Uh, then I have spent most of my time over here. So I had tons of little containers with all kinds of stuff in it. And I have broken that down here. So, you know, if you want to find small screws, there are small screws. Uh, specialty stuff has just like, you know stuff that's kind of special like barrel nuts and that kind of thing got washers labeled um, anyway so that is so much better than it was the label maker battery died <laughs> so I didn't get to finish doing that um, so I know if you were to walk into this shop from three hours ago versus now you wouldn't be able to tell a difference but I can uh, so I'm getting just stuff arranged that uh, has been bothering me for a long time so, a number of people told me when I built my cart for the chop saw that I should have put a back on it. And it's true. So what's happening, not that it's racking, but that whenever I cut something, the sawdust comes into the back here and gets all over everything. So, I think what I'm going to do is maybe just a simple piece of cardboard like uh, this one up here. Just put that over it tack a couple of staples into it, and it should be good to go, um, just to keep the sawdust from falling into this stuff. But I am consolidating screws and nails and such into um, these little containers, and that should really um, get stuff organized in here. And I think a couple of these boxes, like, honestly, I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, yeah, I do. It's a tap and die. Um, this little thing, I'm not sure if I'll keep it. It's uh, a little cordless drill. Um, anyway, just getting some stuff organized. But um, Ashley needs some help in the house, so I'm gonna go in there real quick. It's the next day. Uh, Emma's feeling better. Aren't you feeling better? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, now Arrow is sick. It may just be sickness from teething, but anyway, uh, continuing the trend of cleaning up, it's time to work a little bit outside. Uh, first, we've just got the usual trash that we keep here on the front porch. And then uh, I want to start cleaning up around the house. Uh, for instance, I've got some really old pressure tanks need to be put away. Um, that kind of thing, just little blocks. So, you see those really nice yards that are manicured and uh, people spend years getting them to look nice. That's not me. But also, there is a house down the roadways that has so much junk in the front yard that you can't even look out the windows of the house. It's terrible. That's also not me. So I want to clean up stuff like PVC pipe that's laying around, uh, these pieces of scrap wood, but also I want to go down to the creek and throw away the ram pump graveyard that's sitting down there and just uh, clean up for a while. So let's move around and clean up some stuff. We have a what? The slide. A big slide? Uh -huh. Yeah, when dad finishes the playhouse here in the next couple of months, we'll have a really big slide. Are you excited about that? Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. There's a piece of garden hose behind the house that has been here for a year or better. I think it's time to throw that away. It is hard and doesn't work anymore. If you've watched the channel for a while, I'm big into projects, but then not very good at cleanup. So for instance, I have changed the water filter in the house for years. 
and just thrown these filters out here and just let them sit. So let's throw those away. And then also I haven't used this stuff in two years. So that pipe's gonna go, that pipe's gonna go, that inch and a half, that inch and a half? No, that's two and a half, right? Yeah, I never used two and a half. So yeah, that goes, that pump goes. This thing can go. Yeah, just stuff like that. It's gotta go. Sneak peek for an upcoming project. Should be interesting. I've got uh, a roll, 100 foot roll of uh, three quarter inch poly pipe in there. And the plan is to take a day and go from, see the little white pipe down there? I'm gonna tee off that and take the pipe underground to the garden space. Uh, that way I can have uh, water there to um, the summer whenever I'm growing stuff. Um, I also bought a couple of adapters so that see this little issue that's happening where the pipe is off the ground. I want to add another, I don't know, three feet or so to that and then bury it a little bit underground. So it's going to take a while and it'll only be under the ground, I don't know, like an inch or two just to get it down enough to mow over, I guess. Um, anyway, so that's going to be an upcoming project pretty soon because uh, uh, with the, I don't know, 20 foot drop or so, I've got about 9 PSI um, that can be used at the garden, which is hopefully enough to run basic uh, drip lines. But anyway, car is almost full. Let's head down here and get a few things. Uh, one of these piles that we got in the last video, I'm just going to be um, putting the small stuff in the car and then put the bigger stuff on top of the car since we're almost out of room. But uh, yeah, there's that pile. We'll stop and get that here in a bit when we drive away. But um, let's go down here and see if we can pull some stuff from the creek that we can throw away as well. Later on, when I have more room in the car, we'll throw those blocks away. Those were purchased pretty cheap years ago. I uh, used a lot of them. Built the base of the tiny house with them. Uh, the foundation of the uh, workshop was from that and um, but the main reason I bought them years ago I was uh, young foolish <laughs> had basically no direction <laughs> with this plan but I had this bright idea what if I made yeah, a small pond out of the creek using blocks I know terrible idea um, so I started making this little wall here and uh, luckily I gave up on it pretty quick. But anyway, what I want to do, here's the ram pump graveyard. I'm gonna throw that stuff away. Uh, let's see, I need to throw away this black tub, this pipe here. But I want to break all this down uh, at some point. May not be very easy since it's stuck in concrete. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. But um, anyway. Probably just sledgehammer and then cover up what won't come out of here. But the plan is to throw away as much of this as I can and uh, get this place cleaned up. You can see where the little makeshift waterfall I made is uh, eroding everything. So I may be able to break up that pretty easy, uh, hopefully. Anyway, let's see what we want to throw away here. Let's just, I guess we could use this bucket to make trips. Uh, Go ahead and do that. I wonder if that'll dump out. Yep, okay, cool. Let's just, uh, like that. Toss that in there. Yeah, toss those. Hmm. Those are actually still good, so I'm gonna save all of that. Uh, we'll be doing some more ram pump testing here pretty soon so we will be using all of that okay i think this is gonna be good enough for this trip We've got that pipe all those pieces in there i bought this about seven years ago when i first came up here uh five dollars i think and it's still in usable shape but i'm gonna go ahead and toss it all of the oak trees i forget i think they're red oak maybe are dying here in the mountains 
there is some kind of blight or disease. Um, when I first moved up here about seven years ago, this tree right here was very healthy and uh, doing well. It's 100% dead. Let's see. So that is a white oak, I think, and it's fine. But this one is red oak. I may be wrong, but uh, it's also dead. Um, the one over there, that big one, is dead. So uh, the one I cut down over here was dead or dying. There's one over there. Anyway, uh, it's really sad, but um, the fellow that put our, cut the trees to put our house in, he told us if, if it was him, he would cut all the trees around the house that could fall on the house, especially the oaks. And so that's what we did. Um, but anyway, it's really sad, but one of my neighbors who lives up the hill here was uh, saying he would like the firewood. So he'll probably come cut these down at some point. That one probably needs to have a, a cable pulling it that way into the woods because our power is right here. So it would definitely hit if it fell that way. All right. Uh, I know this video doesn't really have much excitement in it, but maybe it's uh, motivational enough that if you've got some random junk laying around your place, just uh, toss it out. No need to save this kind of stuff. I think I'm going to use this bigger piece as a base on top for all the other stuff. Yeah. yeah. The content here on the channel, I feel like for the past two weeks or so, has been kind of just a lull. And uh, if you have agree with me, that's fine. I definitely think it's true. Uh, I've been kind of taking a break for a minute and uh, gathering my thoughts for the upcoming projects. Uh, so I'm going to have a water system uh, update, I guess. Where I'm going to be doing the third uh, barrel up on top of the tower. Uh, I'm going to bury some of this poly pipe and then put it over here to the garden space. I've got a pretty big series on building the playhouse. Um, let's see. Let's go over here real quick and talk about a couple more things. Uh, this summer is going to have a 20 video long series on ram pumps. It's going to be fun. Also, hey look, the uh, garlic is coming up in one big giant clump. <laughs> um, I moved the fence from over there to here and I like this. This is going to be my permanent setup here. Um, for the fence size. My access road is going to be right through here where I can get to the workshop that I may get to this summer. Uh, not workshop, but basically storage unit for lawnmowers and uh, four-wheeler and yard equipment will be in here. Um, it's going to be the same size as the workshop, but it will have just a little tiny ramp up into it and I'll probably have a back door on it that I could drive lawnmower out because I want to keep that over there kind of like a, a little field for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have a, a 20 by 14 I guess it is in here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm just kind of letting the dirt settle here before I do anything. Um, so that's another project that will take a long time. The micro hydro project will be really exciting. I think that um, that project is going to be one that really sets the channel apart. I'm going to really try to make that series consecutive, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, if I do two videos a week or whatever, it'll just be bam, 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 straight together. Um, so people that come and find the channel will just have to be able to watch those straight through without interruption. Um, other than that, what other big projects do I have? I want to finish the siding inside the tiny house. Um, it definitely needs to be done because my tarps are fading fast. And then when the four-wheeler shed is made, I will be doing a little carport kind of thing up here for both of our cars. Um, so I have big plans. The limiting factor, honestly, is money. So um, we just have to do what we can do in the time we have. But ram pump sales are already at a record high, which is pretty awesome. Um, so hopefully soon I will have enough funds to start some of these big projects. But Okay, 
I know I've been rambling a bit. I'm gonna load up this stuff, and uh, the kids and I are gonna go hang out at my parents for a while and build ram pumps. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have some comments on any of this stuff, write those down below. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. I really do have big plans for 2020, and uh, if you want to be part of that, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bonus footage, I'm up here. The Bonus footage, I'm up on top of the hill here. I wanted to pull this barrel out to see how it's doing. Um, this was my original idea for water storage until I built the tower over there in the woods. So I'm wondering if this could be used from a micro hydro project. If I locked these caps down well enough here to uh, keep water from coming out and then I could use one of these uh, up here for the, the intake. Hmm. I don't know. It is one and a quarter. So I need to have that one and one more next to it for the two intakes. So anyway, let me see. No, it's cracking pretty bad. So I probably better not use this for my permanent install. So I just have to throw that away. Um, well, I did up here. Let's walk over here and see how these are holding up. You can see how these lines are pulling pretty tight on the, uh, the tank. When I add that three feet or so down there, I'm going to just pull this up some and uh, give it some slack. But anyway, so these uh, two 55 gallon barrels fill from the bottom down here. I'm going to go over this more in an upcoming video. But uh, Anyway, yeah, they fill from here, uh, this one, and they come out here and go to the garden. Uh, but I added this ball valve over here. Ah, which way does it go? Ah, uh, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. There we go. So I can connect another one over here because 100 gallons goes by real quick. So that's what I want to do pretty soon is add this other tank. It's got an air hole and overflow over here, but uh, I mainly wanted to see what it looked like up top there. Can't really see it, can you? Hmm. Let's see if this tank tower will hold me. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I painted this, and I think it's doing pretty good. So. I'll be painting the uh, the others as well. I did leave this open a little bit to let some air in there. That's good. Cool. All right. This is the real end. I'll see you next time. Bye.